I'm Josh Rackless, and this is the Hollywood Racklist. And just a bit more shading here. Oh, hello. You caught me as I was drawing a cartoon to promote the movie An Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power. But let me explain. First, this is the Hollywood Racklist, which is a play on my last name, which is Rackless. So it's kind of like the Hollywood Blacklist, which is like a list of scripts that are in hot demand. But in this case, it's a list of things in Hollywood that interest me, which uh, doesn't mean they're necessarily interesting to like a normal person, but it's my show so I can think what I want. And I'm the only one watching it, so that's, you know, doesn't really matter what I say. And today, the thing that interests me most about Hollywood is the fact that a big Hollywood movie is coming to the theater just down the street from me, to the Scotiabank Theater in Toronto. It is a sequel to the blockbuster documentary about global warming that uh, introduced me to global warming many years ago and led to me being depressed and uh, picking up litter in the streets, and I get a lot of colds from that. And I also started distributing flyers to cars, asking them to stop idling, and a few times people tried to beat me up. So thanks a lot, Inconvenient Truth. But anyways, clearly the first movie didn't work because we still have global warming, so we need a sequel. So maybe that's why, uh, you know, Al Gore and his buddies didn't defeat global warming. So they're like, well, we could, we could stop global warming, but we, we want to have a sequel. We want to make some more money. So maybe let's just sort of ease into the saving the planet. And actually, I did take Al Gore's climate reality training a few years ago in Chicago. So I've learned how to give anti-global warming presentations, but... I'm not very good at remembering information, so I haven't actually given one of those presentations. So this is what I do instead. I make my YouTube videos and spout nonsense. But even though I'm not good at giving presentations about climate change, I am good at advertising. I've worked in advertising for 20 years, and I also am good at sort of Hollywood stuff. I wrote a screenplay that won an award. So I've done a little brainstorming here, and I've come up with an idea to sell this movie uh, that's maybe better than what they're doing already. What I've got here is a poster that I've redrawn it. Now, a big blockbuster this year was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So you want to kind of make it feel like a cinematic universe. You don't want to just be like, oh, we make documentaries about global warming. So I was thinking instead of an inconvenient truth, you could uh, call your movie Protectors of the Planet. That's kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's, it's different letters here for the alliteration, so you can't get sued. And then it would be Protectors of the Planet Volume 2, uh, just like Guardians of the Galaxy, so people will be like, oh, it's kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, I want to go see it. And then I've got these three people. These are the three people who are going to be at the movie tonight. There's a cocktail that costs $200 that you can go to at 6 o'clock. I don't really have $200, but I might, I'm might. i going to see if I can get tickets to the $20 movie. Uh, all the money goes to charity, so you should go to all of that stuff. Um, if you're, you know, If you've got like money and a job, which I do not. But anyways, these are the people who are going to be at the event. There's Catherine McKenna, who's the Minister of the Environment for Canada. And there's Al Gore, who was like Vice President of the United States. And he is now fighting global warming. And this is Jeff Skoll. And he's like a philanthropist billionaire. So he's basically, he basically is a superhero here. He's like the Iron Man, Tony Stark of the environment. These are their shields. It's like Captain America shields, but they're solar panels. Al Gore's got his microphone here and because he's giving speeches. Catherine McKenna's got a, a pencil and um, like a long parchment because she writes laws to save the environment. And Jeff Skoll has a, a video camera because he's the producer of the movie. So this is a movie poster I've drawn to promote the movie. Uh, you know, Catherine, Al, Jeff, if you want to take a good look, you can copy that. Um, or if you want to pay me, I'll email you the file of it. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not really kidding, though. I would love money. And then I said, oh, okay, the real movie title is Inconvenient Sequel Truth of Power, just, you know, so you can you can promote your movie in case you don't go with my title. So I've got your new poster, but I've also got a theme song because every movie needs a good theme song that'll sort of stick in people's heads. So I've come up with a little song. And if you go with my idea, you can play this song at the beginning of your movie. It'll be kind of like in uh, Suicide Squad, where they introduce each of the characters. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe Suicide Squad's not a very good example, because it was kind of a like a bad movie. But this will be done like in a good way. So. so here's the theme song for the movie, An Inconvenient Sequel, Truth to Power, or as I like to call it, Protectors of the Planet, Volume 2. Catherine McKenna is cleaning the air. Al Gore. 
Catherine McKenna has bright blonde hair and she has bright ideas for laws to clean the air. <coughs> Catherine McKenna is the environment minister, making laws to clean up the carbon in our air. Jeff Skoll is a philanthropist billionaire whose superpowers are money and his sultry stare. Al Gore is a public speaker extraordinaire who talks about climate change with Stephen Colbert. And they're going to save the world with their shields that are made out of pano solar which is actually French for solar panels. I just wanted to keep the rhyme scheme. And also Canada is bilingual and they're doing this presentation in Canada. So it's totally cool that it actually, it's better that I've made this. Now it's like Canadian content. It's French and English. The government can play it and nobody will get mad. Anyways, here's the end of the song. So here's the movie Protectors of the Planet Volume 2 or an inconvenient sequel Truth to Power as it may be known to you. And actually, I do like what uh, you've done there, Al Gore. Truth to power. You know, it kind of hints that it's a sequel. Well, I guess the word sequel is very overt about that. But I like the truth. You should have made the number two. Truth to power. Two. That would have been cool. Maybe. You know what? Probably just stick with the title you have. Forget everything I've done here. And uh, good luck with the Q&A tonight. I'm still Josh Rackless, and that was the Hollywood Racklist. And if you like that and want to keep up on my stuff, then click here to subscribe. And click here to watch more videos if you have to see more videos before you decide. I'm out of music.